So here it is, my Leatherman, with my custom case. I uh, left the uh, the uh, clip on it so I could have it if I needed it, open a bottle or uh, undo a nut. Uh, I think that's a standard size nut on most firearms. I don't know what it's for. Anyway, I made the sheath. It pops in and pops out. It's very tight. Very nice. I'm going to put a lanyard hole and reinforcement rivet right here. Um, it's, it's stitched, but I also put in the uh, reinforcement rivet. And you can, you know, put a lanyard on it if you wanted to hang it. I don't know. You could hang it there, I guess. But anyway, I did that. And uh, it clips in. Hard to do one handed. Come on, like that. You heard it. It is uh, pressure fit and uh, then it's waxed. I wax the leather and uh, hot bath the weather, leather so it can't, nothing, it, you know, in the weather. This thing's absolutely uh, uh, bulletproof in the weather. Nothing's ever going to happen to it. I do all my sheets that way. A very nice little custom artwork on it. Um, Leatherman. Uh, Sidekick, I'm going to sell it. Whoever wants it can have it. Highest bidder. I've had it for quite a while. Haven't used it a lot. Got some use. I do like it. It has a great blade on it. Cut the hair off your arm. That's how it comes. Got a saw. Nice saw. Really good saw. I've used it. So those are all one hand open. And then now. Uh, Inside, we got the uh, springing pliers, which are very, very nice. Wire cutters and strippers, needle nose, and then uh, underneath, you've got these three blades. Um, you got a can opener right there, and uh, and a stripper right there. That's the wire stripper right there. See? Wire stripper. And then you've got uh, this blade which is a uh, serrated. Serrated. And then you got this file which I added. Um, the file I had on there was stainless. It was the same material as this. And I went to sharpen an axe with it. A hatchet actually. Uh, on a trip and it dulled. I mean, it didn't even do one side of the hatchet. So I got mad and called Leatherman. They said, send it back, we'll take care of it. So I sent it back, and they put the same one back in. So I took it and thought, well, maybe it was the material. Tried to sharpen the axe again, it dulled again. So I went to the hardware store, bought me a uh, really nice uh, uh, number six uh, file, and cut it to length, and fit it custom fit it so it locks in place just like the other blades do and uh, I left the uh, edges here and here so you can use it to cut metal fine on one side and coarse on the other and I put a uh, chisel I don't know if you can see that I put a chisel tip on there because I always need a, a chisel of some kind so anyway I beat what they did it's very very nice sharpens an axe now anyway on the other side, you've got uh, screwdrivers. Oops. Hard to do with one hand, isn't it? Always. I guess I should get a get my trusty stand out. Huh? There we go. On this end, this side, you've got two screwdrivers. You got a Phillips and a uh, a uh, standard. Phillips works really good. Standard works good. Well, they all work good. It's a great knife, um, but I've got to sell it. So I'm gonna let it go. I'm gonna let this go. It comes with the case that I made for it. If you want, you can have the original pouch it came in, which is just a pouch. You can't attach it to anything, and it comes with the uh, beaner bottle opener. 
um, which came with the knife. Anyway, so just send me a little uh, message and say you want it, and I'll give you my PayPal address, and highest bidder wins, and I'll probably take it off, or probably the bidding will stop in uh, probably Monday. So good luck. Adios. Shipping out.